What's up, YouTube? I'm back. Just wanted to show you some MVS Neo Geo pickups that I recently got. As um, if you guys don't know, I'm getting two candy cabs in about a week or so. And I've been collecting Neo Geo games trying to build a library so I can have some fun. So for those of you who don't know, uh, MVS is uh, the arcade version of the Neo Geo and it's much cheaper than going with the AES version. So I'm gonna go through the, the Japanese carts first because a lot of them are in Japanese and I'd say about half. Are, or more are in Japanese, and um, I have them on this side, so I'll, I'll just go through those. First one I wanted to share with you was Metal Slug X. Now, Metal Slug X is one of the, I think it's like, I'm not gonna say the fourth one, but I think it comes after three, if I'm not mistaken, and I have never played it, but it's part of the Metal Slug series. And it's um, it's nice. I mean, it, this one comes in a transparent greenish case. Looks pretty clean. Mind you, I've already gone through and, and wiped the contacts here and also cleaned the boards up. So they look pretty good. And um, this game's a fun game. I mean, Metal Slug is a side-scrolling adventure type of shooting game, and it is a lot of fun. So... I will be playing that one for sure. The next one I have here is um, Fatal Fury 3. And Fatal Fury 3 is a fighting game. As you guys all know, Neo Geo has a lot of fighting games in their library. And I think they say it's about 66% of their library is fighting games. Why Neo Geo put that many in there? I have no idea. But fighting games were popular back in that 2000 um, or 1990s, I'm sorry, uh, 1990s. And people loved their fighting games, and they were good at making fighting games back then. I mean, Street Fighter was out, and um, I think Battle of the Shinden was out at some point, and they made a lot of games that were quality uh, fighting games. But this one, real quick, it's... Fatal Fury 3, another Japanese label. Um, one thing to note are the Japanese labels are the only difference between the American and the, uh, the US North America versions and the Japanese versions. The actual boards inside of here are, are the same. They're identical. So it's the BIOS inside of your Neo Geo that tells you that really reads and shows text uh, that's either in either language in the US or the Japanese language. Um, but the actual boards are the same exact boards from what I understand. Um, so anyways, so this one here is your Art of Fighting 3. And another fighting game, Let's see if we can get that to zoom. Another fighting game that is in the library and it's more of a basic uh, fighting game. I don't think it's one of the better ones. It's just one that I got for cheap, so I picked it up. All right, moving on. Uh, now, this one is probably one of the best shmup shooter games that uh, that is on the Neo Geo. People think it is maybe one of the best, if not the best, and it's called Blazing Star. It's a side scrolling shmup and it's got really cool graphics this the spaceship looks awesome and the game is pretty challenging so um cool game you can pick from all sorts of different different planes and jets and spaceships and and very fun the label on here looks decent uh but it's in japanese so Need to learn some Japanese when I'm going to be doing this. <laughs> All right, here's another fighting game. Last Blade 1. Uh, the Last Blade. This is one of the better fighting games. It has a lot of cool 
characters and moves and uh it's definitely a fun game to to play and i'm looking forward to it so there's two that they made uh the second one here is last blade 2 so i picked that one up as well also japanese like i mentioned and yeah i'll be playing it so i don't know which one's better but these games are very deep they have all sorts of characters and i'm sure you can unlock characters and and there are a ton of moves so to learn so yeah i'm looking forward to playing that one as well all right moving on the next one i was able to pick up was samurai showdown 3 and this one comes in a white case a little different cleaned it up the best i could it's not perfect there's some sticky stuff here that I tried to get out that's a lot better now and then there. But overall, it's in decent shape. And this is another fighting game, but this is one of the better ones from what... Um, in the series, I mean, Samurai Showdown is pretty common, but it's, it's a fun game and it's, it's, uh, it's cool to play. So this is Samurai Showdown 3. I might have said 4, but... Let's see here. And by the way, there's not like a tunnel of games down here. <laughs> this is just, um, I have them all stacked right down here. Uh, so that's where I'm holding them. Uh, next one, another Samurai Showdown. This is the fourth one in the series. And uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what the differences are. I'm sure characters and fighting moves and things like that, but I'm gonna learn and I will be playing that one. I'm not sure if that one's the, the better of the series or not. Okay, so moving on to football games. Um, this might be the only football game in Neo Geo. It's called Football Frenzy, and it's very similar to Tech Mobile. If you guys have played that game, then you'll be familiar with this one. Uh, I can tell you right now it's not that fun to play uh, compared to Tech Mobile, but it gives you some similarities, and I think it's something that I, I'm going to try because I like my sports games. All right, so next one, speaking of sports, is Street Hoop. And Street Hoop is a basketball game that is very similar to NBA Jams, if you guys remember that game. It's not as much like fire and thrills and turbo boosts and things like that, but it is a, uh, a cool game, and uh, I will be playing it. It's definitely great when you have more than one player. Um, you can have some fun with that game. All right. This one is a little bit different than what I'm used to. It's called King... King, uh, the King of Monsters 2. And this is a side-scrolling game where you're basically a big, large Godzilla-looking creature and you, you run across the screen and try to kill, I'm probably sure, building, buildings and other things on the screen, like other animals and creatures and things. So this should be a cool game. Never played it, so I'm looking forward to it. All right. Oops, the last Japanese cart that I have is another fighting game. This one is a pretty fun game. The graphics are, are, are very nice. Um, it also has like cool characters where you can, you have a character on your back almost and he like jumps off and does some weird things. And um, so it's a pretty cool game. I think, uh, I think I'm gonna like this one. I've played it before and uh, the thing with these games, like I said, they're so deep and so many characters and controls. I mean, it could take you months and months and months and years to figure this stuff out. So this will be a fun game to try out, and I'm looking forward to it. All right, so those are my Japanese carts, and now I'm moving on to the American ones, which, by the way, are easier to read. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Metal Slug. So Metal Slug is... Very famous. I'm sure you guys are familiar with it. If you're not, it's one of the landmark 
games of the Neo Geo system. And uh, and it's a side, what do you call it? Like a platformer game where you run and you shoot and you save POWs. And uh, it's a cool game, very cool game. This is the one that started it all for Metal Slug. And I picked it up. Metal Slug 2, same of the goodies here, uh, just the second one in the series, and added it to my collection, so looking forward to playing that one. Uh, Metal Slug 3, which I think is probably the most popular one out of the series, and I think that uh, people, people have recommended this one to me more than any other any other metal slug game so i'll be looking forward to this one and um i'm sure i'll be doing some videos on the gameplay at some point as well so i know it's a quick video or not quick but i'm going through them quick because i'm trying to uh, make decent time here and i'll probably probably do more in-depth videos on each one of these as i go uh, get further along. I have candy cabinets coming in, so I'm going to have a ton of work there. I have other projects that I'm working on, but uh, but you know, as I as I get things done, I will I'll be sure to do some reviews on these here. Uh, next one is Cyberlip, and Cyberlip is one of the few platformer games that we have. Um, it's not like Metal Slug. It's more like um, I don't know, like a bionic commando, but without the arm. Um, trying to think of other games that were like this. Uh, mm, can't really think of any right now, but it's it's a cool game. I'll be playing that one. I like this one out of all the the uh, side scrolling platformer type games. All right, I'll show these together just to save some time. So we have Samurai 2 and Samurai 1. Uh, I have a lot of Samurai Showdowns. I think 2 is recommended to me as one of the better ones, so I'll be looking forward to playing that. But like I said, I mean, these all have very specific characters, moves that, are, that take time to figure out, and I'll see if I can be kicking some butt on these games. Looking forward to it. All right, so next one is Super Baseball 2020. Uh, Super Baseball. And this one is very similar to a lot of old school baseball games, um, you know, top down type of approach. But this game, you're playing with robots and it's more futuristic. Um, kind of like that game, I think it was called Cyberball, football game. But, you know, you have robots that are, are out there, and um, I think you have, like, power-ups and things like that. And it's a pretty cool game. It's, it's a fun game, so I'll be excited to play that one at some point in time soon. All right, we're almost done. we got three more left. Last, uh, next pickup is called Windjammers. This is a very fun game. Um, it is kind of like dodgeball, but you're playing with a Frisbee and you're trying to kill your opponent and throw this frisbee around it's definitely something that's creative and different and unique and uh, i remember it being a pretty fun game so yeah neo geo not a lot of sports games but i did get a lot of them because i like my sports all right two more to go so this one's called shock troopers second squad this is the second in the series of uh shock troopers and this is more like a top-down akari warriors type of game um you just go around shooting people and and uh even like commando from back in the day for you older guys uh this is a fun game though i think i like it better than the first one all right last one baseball stars 2 so this game probably my favorite sports game neo turf masters is my is maybe maybe my first or second but this game is 
awesome. I remember playing Nintendo uh, Baseball Stars, and that game was just so deep and so cool. Um, and one thing I like about these games is you don't have to get into crazy game modes or any deep time vacuum games where like MLB the show it's a great game it's awesome simulation it represents the sport to the T same thing with NBA 2k but you know what to me they're so so deep and so complex and yeah you can get in and out if you're playing my career and do your um, uh, not rising star but um, I forget what the name is for MLB but you have your your uh, career mode on there as well and they're fun but it's like this to me is more jump in play a quick game and you're done this one does have a season where you can plug in a memory card for neo geo and it will give you the ability to play the entire season i believe i've never done that but i'd like to check that out because even though i don't want to go deep into a game this game would actually be pretty cool to see how it works and Back then, that was uh, that was a cool thing. But this game holds up pretty well in terms of the graphics and the gameplay. So I'm excited to play this one. A lot of fun. So, all right, guys. I mean, that's my that's my pickups from this past weekend. I've been going crazy, spending a lot of money. Uh, this hobby is not cheap at all, and um, and I'm building my collection. So. Hopefully, I'll have more videos. Stay tuned. All you Neo Geo guys, I will be putting out more as I go. So, peace out and have a good rest of your day. Later. Thanks for watching.